as an artist, art is of course super important for, for, for any game. But for Tudwang I think even more so because the the look and the style and feel of the Tudwang universe uh, is is what caught my eye and, and I think that's what makes this project stand out among the rest. The Tudwang universe has so much amazing art and artists that has been contributing for years and years. And it can be kind of scary to suddenly have to create a map that will fit into all this and complement all the work that has already been done. I still want the, the original players of the pen and paper role-playing game to feel at home in this game. I basically took the original map from the book as a, as a template and I added some more variations to the coastline. And I found public satellite information online of mountains that I would Photoshop to fit into our map, including the massive mountain range up north. And then I, based on this information, I would extrude this into 3D and break this into layers, uh, from the lush forests at the base of the mountains to the clean rock faces in the middle and uh, up to the snow-clad peaks at the, at the top. And then I would just spend time and take pass after pass, add all the different types of terrain around the map, add the little rivers, go through the coastline, add the surf, add the waves, and try to make all the little unique locations and make it look kind of, sort of magical and fit into the Trudwang universe. And I believe this is a great opportunity to take all those fun creatures that people already know from the books and you make them into amazing looking miniatures. And you take the, the map, the world of Trudwang, make it pop and you have the interchangeable locations. Uh, uh, that adds persistency to gameplay, but you know, you have a visual cue for everything. And all this is going to supplement really well with the already well-established lore of Trudwang.